Now we've all seen deleted scenes from Spongebob, however there's more deleted scenes that people don't really talk about in the community that I found for you today. Today we're going to be taking a look at scenes that we wish were deleted, yes there are some scenes I wish were removed from Spongebob but made it on the air, and there are also scenes that got deleted and never premiered, so today guys we're going to take a look at what Nickelodeon is doing, why they removed the deleted scenes, and today I'm going to actually reveal some of these full clips for you so we can understand, dissect, and analyze why these scenes probably got deleted together. With each episode running for more than 10 minutes, multiple seasons, there are bound to be things that got removed from this cartoon. And this isn't just exclusive to Spongebob, this happens in every single cartoon and TV show. There are things that are going to be removed because production didn't like it. Click the like button, make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on for new videos when we upload them. You want to be the first one here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go on to number 5, which is going to be the first thing on the list. Let's take a look. From a Spongebob special, Shangahade, we see an episode that we weren't really expecting at the time. Yes, Patchy the Pirate was involved in this, and it was definitely a special episode. Now there is a deleted scene that I'm about to show you that is going to blow your mind, but for context, Squidward, Patrick, and Spongebob were all trapped on the Flying Dutchman's ship. But near the end of the episode, let's take a look at the original. I wish that the Dutchman was a vegetarian! <laughs> You did it, SpongeBob! We're safe! But why have we been turned into fruits? Fruit prevents scurvy! <laughs> this was the scene Nickelodeon decided to use. Still kind of creepy, however, the Flying Dutchman was a vegetarian and everything's cool, everything's cool. Let's take a look at the deleted. I wish that I had never met you two barnacle heads before in my entire life! So be it! Hi there, I don't believe we've met. Well, now that introductions are out of the way, it's time for dinner. And what did you say your name was? I'm Squidward. I'm your neighbor. Oh, nice to meet you, Squidward. We'll have plenty of time to get to know each other, I guess. As the Flying Dutchman grants their wish, it leaves me kind of confused. Why did Nickelodeon decide to use the other clip and not this one? I mean, this is a big chunk of animation that just got thrown out the window. The Flying Dutchman ate Squidward, Patrick, and SpongeBob without their clothes on. That's pretty sick, Flying Dutchman, and I'm guessing the production didn't think this was appropriate for kids because eating people is um, kind of weird, yeah. But this whole episode was weird in and of itself, so I don't understand why this one was too much. And we got the original scene of them in a blender, which is also kind of creepy in my opinion. So honestly, they could have went with either one and it would have been okay in my books. But I guess the network, Nickelodeon, whoever decided they didn't want this thing to be premiered. Even though we saw in the episode a bunch of crazy things, skulls, brains, Squidward thrown into just madness. Why did they delete that scene? I really don't know. Let's go on number four. In the episode Procrastination, Miss Puff had a duty for the students at the school. She wanted them to do an essay on a beautiful day in Bikini Bottom. Who would want to do an essay? Obviously, SpongeBob was ecstatic to do this essay, and he was trying his best to finish that thing, but he got distracted, and we'll see a lot of that in this episode. However, you're gonna come to find out there was a lot of deleted scenes in this episode. I'm not just talking one. There's about three deleted scenes. Let's take a look at this together. This is harder than I thought. SpongeBob! I'm gonna get to why this scene was deleted soon, but first we need to understand something. One, this whole chunk was definitely removed from the episode, but Nickelodeon actually aired this again in the future years after. We see Squidward, Jellyfish, a lot of cool stuff happening outside that SpongeBob wasn't able to participate in, unfortunately. Most fans of the show believe the reason they removed this is because Patrick rubs Sandy in a very strange way. It looks like he's removing her garments. And I'm just saying that to be PG, okay? I am trying to be PG and cordial on this channel. But it looks like he's trying to remove her bikini, guys. But to me, it doesn't really look like that. It just looks innocent. However, Patrick Starr looks pretty creepy there. A car scene was actually totally removed as well. And this is probably because... Number three. In the episode Just One Bite, Squidward was convinced that Krabby Patties were evil, but he came to love them. Who doesn't love Krabby Patties? Who wouldn't want to eat one of these things, as unhealthy as it is? However, there's a big deleted scene. 
There it is, unguarded. All I have to do is... Wait, it's too easy. There must be some kind of security. In the middle of the night, Squidward rushes out of his bed to the Krusty Krab to get a Krabby Patty. He's addicted. However, there is a security system in place in the Krusty Krab, but what happens after will leave your jaws dropped. Bucket of water? <laughs> that was too easy. Hey, this isn't water. This is gas. Without hesitation, this scene was totally removed, and I actually understand why this one was deleted. This is probably the one on the list that really should have been deleted, especially during the times this episode aired. Now, explosions, fires, and like things like that can kind of slide in cartoons. However, when something tragic happens, something monumental happens, especially in the country, they had to remove it. And I'm not going to go too much into details. Nickelodeon decided to pull the plug on this because something tragic happened. Let's go on to number two. The episode Sailor Mao. Crabs is a... You may be shocked to find this episode on this list. After all, what could be deleted from this awesome episode where the characters actually cursed? Hello, Patrick. Lovely day we're having, isn't it? Well, guess what? The final audio actually got deleted and the characters actually swore. The voice actors swore on SpongeBob SquarePants for this kid's cartoon. They didn't ad lib, it was real cursing. In an interview with Tom Kenny in an open battle, he got asked a question of this episode. When we recorded that, you know, that's all where SpongeBob and Patrick learned a word that's uh, written on the back of the wall. You know, so we were supposed to be recording that, and, you know, swearing without really swearing is hard, because they would just say ad lib, uh, almost swearing. You know, SpongeBob and Patrick ad lib, uh, fake swearing. And then we were like, this is too hard. Could we just really, really cuss, and then you guys just bleep out? Unfortunately, I don't have any tangible audio files. I couldn't find it. I tried my best, guys, but Nickelodeon, whoever has that thing on lockdown where the characters are cursing, which I would love to see, maybe one day we'll see it. You will never be allowed to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Nickelodeon has that buried in the deep in a pit in the middle of the earth somewhere. In a recent SpongeBob episode, Squidward and SpongeBob had to go to Random Land. A very strange episode. In fact, this is one of the goofiest, craziest episodes I've seen of SpongeBob in my entire life. Yes, they go on a wacky adventure. Things turn for the worse. A lot of goofy scenes, but they all made it in. Nothing wrong here. But there was a really, really disturbing deleted scene in this episode, which I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a warning before you go on. There's a little jump scare of the deleted scene that I'm going to show you soon. But I'm sure that, you know, you guys are probably used to all that scary stuff anyways, especially if you're on the Internet. But there was something that was completely removed, and Nickelodeon removed it for good reasons. Ah, oh, what in the world is that, bro? How did who thought this was? Oh, jeez. Okay. Now I will say this: they probably should have left this in. And the only reason I'm saying this, ah, you know what? I actually uh, take it back. They probably couldn't leave this in. Remember that SpongeBob is kind of geared towards younger audiences. And so they don't really want to push the boundary, I guess. But kids are into this stuff anyway. I mean, look at Sonic EXC, Sonic X, whatever. Kids are into that stuff, so I guess they could have left it in. But this is controversial. Yes, they removed this completely. They were like, who thought this was a good idea? Get this out of here immediately. And the scene was totally deleted, guys. Wow. Number one has to do with the movie that just came out, Sponge on the Run. Yeah the new 3D movie. There was actually a lot of different plots for this movie that got totally scrapped, guys. One of the plots that got scrapped is that King Poseidon would have been a real human, apparently, a real king, and not the King Neptune with evil villains and evil characters, evil minions attacking SpongeBob and Sandy. It would have been really interesting to see this. I don't know why we didn't get this. I guess, you know, the story just didn't pan out this way but it would have been a real live action thing with the little CG that we used to. Another thing that was deleted from the movie is a cat robot monster. Yeah, it was gonna chase Mr. Krabs, Patrick, Squidward, and SpongeBob around. I have no idea how this would play into the story. I don't know why this was removed. Paramount maybe had something to do with this. Thank you guys for watching this video. By the way, if you wanted to see SpongeBob and them cursing, 
you're probably never going to see that. But if you want to see other cartoon characters swearing from all different various cartoons, go and watch my other video. It's pretty new. It's called Five Kid Cartoon Shows Who Have Sworn on Accident Part 8. Total Drama, SpongeBob, Powerpuff Girls. Guys, go and watch that video. You can see cartoon characters swearing that you wouldn't really... You're just, you're just going to call... You can't just get, 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 get catch you off guard. Goodbye.